Hey guys, Scott back again with a new beer dissection video for you today. Um, what I have today is from Great South Bay Brewing Company. Okay, um, they're Platinum Blonde Ambition. Okay, they have it advertised as an Imperial Blonde Ale with apricot um, at a whopping 9% alcohol. So definitely when I, my, a buddy of mine was out over the weekend, he bought me some beers from a local brewery here, Crowlers, and then picked up some general beer that, this is still local, This, but this is down the road. I think uh, Great South Bay is in Bayshore, right, exactly, Bayshore, Long Island here, South Shore, uh, Suffolk County. Um, I used to work not too far from there. Um, so Imperial Blonde Ale, and especially at 9%, I'm glad they're saying Imperial because regular blonde ales that be are like somewhere roughly four and a half to five percent alcohol usually like you know apple pear fruity um you know esters and the aroma so it's usually a very sessionable beer usually again sitting around that four and a half five and a half percent alcohol um this is uh made with it's imperial blonde ale with apricot so i'm presuming they are infusing it with apricot somewhere in the process, whether it's in the primary or the secondary fermenter, if they are going to a secondary. I gotta be honest with you, I'm not usually a big fan of beers that are infused with fruit. I mean, I don't mind fruity flavors based on the hops, but I, you know, but I'm gonna try to keep it, you know, keep it short there and not bias my opinion on this. Um, so apricot, kind of like orange flavors I'm thinking of, tangerine. Um, of course, apricot flavors, but that has that orangey kind of essence to it. But we'll see. Um, I've reviewed a few beers from Great South Bay Brewing Company, I believe. Check under my you know, other beer dissection videos. Maybe there was even a what is style that I used a Great South Bay beer. Um, I think I have pretty good memories of those beers. All right. So um, not using anything really special here today. I just got my typical shaker pine here from my uh, favorite brewery up in the Adirondacks in the North Country here in Lake Placid. Um, so let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what it's all about. Okay. Wow, so as I'm pouring it, you don't see it quite yet. It looks like an orange, strong orange hue. It's very effervescent in the glass as I'm pouring it. Um, almost as if it was soda-like. Uh, so let's take a look at it. I mean, you have that, you know, I pour things aggressively, plus I think it is pretty highly carbonated from the way it was pouring as just two seconds ago. Um, you know, three inches, three, four inches, you know, there is a, I'll just call it a white to light tan foam, but maybe because if they are using apricot, um, there is a little tinge of orange to it, very subtly. You may not be able to see that on camera. Um, let's take a look at the actual color of it. You definitely have that medium amber, dark amber, orange hue-ish kind of beer, which you would expect if you know beforehand that it has a uh, apricot added to it, or I'm assuming they used apricot, or maybe they just played around with the hops to give you that um, illusion. So, you know, there's some chill haze there, no big deal, or maybe sometimes, you know, when you're brewing with fruit, the pectins and stuff. Sometimes the beers are a little bit more hazy in my experience at least, uh, but it looks pretty good. I mean, looks like a nice looking beer. You would think this was kind of like an American IPA or something like that. Okay, so let's take a sniff of the aroma. Oh, actually I'm quite surprised. Um, let me just start with what I thought I was gonna smell. There is a, First of all, they're, 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 they must be using some hops as that have herbal floral character to it because I am getting that on the nose and immediately. What I was expecting this smell is this medicinal orange smell, uh, mandarin orange, orange peel, which I do not get, which is good. There is though, there is a subtle orange tangerine apricot kind of aroma to it, which is good. Okay, because obviously if it's being advertised as an apricot blonde ale, you want that, but you do not want the medicinal quality of it. Sometimes it's, you know, I've, I've had fruit beers. They say they're infused with real fruit. It's very medicinal. So unless they perfected it, um, so, so far so good as far as the aroma on this. 
you know, the malt, you know, again, I'm getting a little bit of that, that orange tangerine, and, you know, but the malt is probably more white bread um, character there. But again, sometimes the malt gets overrun by some of the, the aromas, uh, the fruit aromas. But you still get like that spice, spicy herbal character, almost as if you were using German noble hops too. Okay. I take some deeper sniffs. I kind of get on the back end of that longer sniff, uh, a little bit more pronounced apricot orange aroma to it. But I got to say, so far on the aroma, I'm happy with it because uh, it's not giving me that medicinal quality. Okay, guys, so cheers. I'll show you again before I take a swig of this, that nice orange juice. So it's a very pretty looking beer. Okay, let me take a swig of this. Okay, whoa. Well, definitely medium and full bodied here. At 9%, you would expect it. There is that heavy, dense feeling you're getting on the palate. Um, flavors, again, thankfully, I'm getting apricot or orange ish kind of flavors, but it's not. Thankfully, I'm not getting the medicinal flavor on. So if they're using artificial sweeteners, then they're tricking me because it's not giving me what I've had with other beers that have used like mango and whatever. And you could tell that they're using not real fruit. This, and listen, I'm not going to bet my life on that they're not using those, but I, I, I tend to think that they're using some real fruit, either puree, juice, things like that. Maybe back sweetened a little bit. Back sweetened means probably a lot of times in packaging they'll they'll put some fruit in there sometimes in the in the fermenter before they go to packaging they'll put some fruit in there also still get it gets a little overpowered by the orange uh apricot flavor um but you do get that little herbal floral character to some hops um the malt is neutral it's kind of that white bready wheat bready even though there may not be any wheat used in this beer um but very, very nice i mean a nice i think a nice canvas for the apricot uh is not drinking like a blonde ale okay like blonde ales you know this this is more full-bodied there's definitely more robustness to it uh, with the apricot it kind of has um it's probably drinking more like a double ipa which again the alcoholic strength is there with the you know, less bitterness that pulled the hops out and just kind of supplanted it with the apricot. But it's, it's pretty nice. Um, yeah, like the bitterness is pretty subdued, um, maybe moderate at best. I don't think they probably even highly hop it, but you do get that lingering apricot orange um, flavor to it. Um, Listen, I'm pleasantly surprised. I, I, I usually do not like uh, fruit beer. This, this is not, this is pretty good. Um, one of the better ones I've had recently. Uh, like I said, for the main reason is that either they've tricked me or they, I believe they've used some form of natural apricot juice or or, you know, an orangey type of solution and not just flooding it with artificial stuff. Maybe it's a juice, maybe it's a puree. I doubt they're, maybe I don't want to say this. I don't know if they're grinding up their apricots. They may not be doing that and sitting on a bed of it, but who knows? I got, you know, I didn't check the website on this one, but it's actually drinking quite nice. So it's good. So, you know, grade wise guys, again, what we have here, I'm sure I have it over my shoulder. Great South Bay Brewing Company, um, Platinum Blonde Ambition. There's a attractive figure on the cover here of the of the of the can um it's kind of like let me just say one other thing about this as i'm sitting here there is some cloyingness to it there is some residual sweetness on it that i'm kind of getting almost like the candy on my lips as i'm talking if you had like cotton candy so it tells me it's maybe not as attenuated um even though it's at nine percent so they must have eaten through some sugar but I won't go down that wormhole too much. I really wouldn't take too much away from it. It's kind of like a regular blonde ale uh, with, uh, with uh, the apricot on steroids because obviously the, the body is fuller uh, and heavier because of the alcoholic strength. Um, 
So pretty good. I mean, I, I probably couldn't drink too many of these, not just because it's 9%, but there is that little bit of cloyingly sweetness to it and orange, which, you know, I, I could deal with it with a beer or two, but you know, this is definitely not a sessionable beer. Um, but I got to say, listen, it's, it's definitely better than I thought it was going to be. I was expecting the medicinal factor. Um, I tip my hat that they're probably using some Everything very close to real fruit, if it's not the puree or something like that. You know, grade-wise, overall drinkability, um, I want to give it a B. Uh, you know, it is a little cloyingly sweet. Uh, I think it's, the residual sweetness is a little higher than I would like. Um, but the flavor is there. And it, it really is kind of nice with the, with the refreshness. So I want to say B. Maybe I'll even bump it up to B+. Plus. Um, you know, there's really, you can't compare this to most other beers. I mean, it's apples to oranges, you know, unless I have an other um, blonde, you know, ale infused with apricot. You know, you just can't compare. So I'm not even going to compare it to something else. But overall, uh, drinkability, enjoyability, like I said, at least a B. I wouldn't argue someone said B+. Plus. I would not put it in the A range only because, for my taste, because again, this is my channel, <laughs> It's my subjectivity. Uh, I wouldn't argue with someone if they said A. I don't put it up in the A range just because I wish it drank a little bit drier. I wish there was maybe a little more attenuation because I am getting that, that sticky uh, feeling on my lips that, you know, at 9%, you know, you expect a, a degree of sweetness and residual sugar left behind. But I almost wish it was maybe a little better attenuated and, you know, a little drier you know, kind of maybe a little bit more cl cl uh, closer to a Belgian golden strong with apricot would be probably would improve and elevate this beer even more, in my opinion. Again, this guys, this, this is my channel. I just throw stuff out there. People will agree with me. Some people won't. Um, but again, if I had this outside, I had no problem with it. Again, good B, B plus beer, enjoy it. Um, and that's pretty much it. So guys, you know, a, a, a Blonde ale on steroids infused with apricot is kind of what you're getting here. Lower bitterness, pretty tasty beer. Uh, if you're looking to get drunk off of one or two, you know, that 9%, you're halfway there, okay? Um, so anyway, guys, till next beer dissection video, Grape South Bay Brewing Company Platinum Blonde Ambition, blonde ale with apricot. Um, again, solid beer. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this beer. Um, just a couple little you know, knick-knack things uh, to criticize it there on the tail end. All right, guys, until next beer video, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.